Hello. Um, we are the Creedy sisters, myself, Yvonne, Pamela Creedy. He's not a sister, is he? No. <laughs> yeah. Joined by Ona Neil and Mizuki here today. Um, after the launch of our new album, Beyond the Villas and the Bow, we are going to play a set of tunes for you. And yeah, hope you enjoy them. <laughs> Away, let. Or live, sorry. We'll <laughs> get It's kind of music I could ease into the next life very happily to, okay? Thanks. Beautiful, lovely little lift to it. <clears throat> okay, lads, I'm looking at your album cover. Who had the epiphany about naming, given the title of the album? <laughs> Surprisingly enough, Pamela. Oh, Pamela. <laughs> 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 um, uh, yeah, Pamela, most of this, like, she's like, you you know more stuff about this than me, like, you know, work away. Okay, so Pamela's the oracle. Least. Okay, oracle, tell <laughs> yes. us all about it, will you? Um, I suppose we were kind of just, um, we were thinking of what's in a concertina, what's in a fiddle, and um, then I started trying to rhyme words, and I don't know, I just woke up one morning, and literally, I must have been sleeping or something, woke up and just it came into it. Uh, and so. th there's great, I, I, I can see leaving Cert English about this, the alliteration of, of the title, <laughs> B B beyond the bellows and the bow. It's a lovely yeah. title, actually. <laughs> now, okay, you're obviously siblings. Who's the elder? Me. You're the elder, okay. Yeah. But she controls everything. Yeah, she's bossy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're from Kilmaley, and there's a great history of music in Kilmaley. You talk about, I suppose, Peter Lachlan. Talk about Tom Eustace. Mm -hmm. But you had a very special influence on your early music from, a f and the album is is dedicated to him. Would yeah. you tell us a little bit about him? Um, Mike Cahill, he lives next door to us, two, to two doors down, and um, 
I suppose we started learning from a very young age. I started at seven and Pamela started when she was five. So we played together and if we learned to tune, we'd call down to the house and we'd play it for him and he'd tell us if he liked it or not, like, you know. And, and he was a musician, he played he the fiddle. He was a musician himself, Lovely. he played the fiddle. And um, yeah, every time then, especially during the summer, we'd be practicing outside or, you know, I'd be playing outside. and the. Tunes would be travelling down to his house. <laughs> Wafting down. He'd be out sitting out it. listening. He mentioned it one day. He was like, gorgeous music there this morning. And I got pure embarrassed. So I played inside then for <laughs> ages. Right, <laughs> okay, yeah. lovely. Um, but yeah, he used to encourage us hugely, definitely, yeah. Isn't that a beautiful kind of, I, I hate the word organic, but it's, it's a beautiful kind of a sylvan way to learn music. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. You know, so and what an influence. Um, your early music, when you got into kind of organised music then, it, it was with whom? Um, I suppose we got into organised lessons and things like that. So I went to Tim Collins for near part of 10 years, I'd say, wow. um, in Cushing and had a great time there. And yeah. Pamela then for the fiddle started with Majella Shannon and then ended up with John Weir in later years. And yeah, kind of all that had an impact on our style as well. You know? yeah. Yeah. I can remember a, a, a very horrific moment here while you were preparing for a FLA. And there was some damage done to your fiddle. Can <laughs> yeah. I remember that? Will you yes. tell us a bit about that? Um, it was. It must have been maybe my second last year, final year, uh, playing co playing competition in the flat. And um, yeah, I remember we were over in Tulla for their Tuesday night sessions, and whatever came over me, I don't know. It just it fell literally and um, broke the bridge. And it must have been a week before the All Ireland. It was. It? I remember yeah. the <laughs> consternation. So I had it in my head. I was like, No, I have another fiddle at home. I was like, It'll be fine. That bridge will do. I'll pop that on. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Little. No, it so it didn't work. I rang John Weir the following morning and told him my issue. And John saved me slightly. Oh, good. Went to Galway and got it um, sorted. I, yeah. Uh, but so, I remember the terror was there. And just know, the, yeah. oh yeah, it wasn't great. It wasn't, but anyway, no, it wasn't, on, on to real music. Um, you you. You, you had a launch, obviously, okay, yeah. and I wasn't there, unfortunately, but I two representatives of my family, yeah. <laughs> and they, what they described to me, it was like a kind of a timeline launch, where you included everybody, or as many as you could. We tried to anyway, yeah. So tell us about that, because that was very special. Well, uh, overall, in this album, like, we were thinking, when we started out, we were like, will we go mad, and like, for the pictures, be quirky, and I was like, that's not us, like... <laughs> People see those old women playing like in the corner. <laughs> so um, we wanted to like keep everything really personal. So like we've been playing with Owen since I've been since I was sixteen. Pamela was sure. about twelve, you know. Um, so we had to have him on the album. And then Gerard McNamara is our piano player, and we got involved with him over kind of the later teen years. We always knew him, but like with him and his family and. She's out in a band with them out the gap in Tulla, um, so he was very important to have on the album with us as well. And then the likes of Nuala Hare, cousin, and Shane Creek. Oh, she's a cousin of yours? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, that's a, um, a new... So it was special for us as well to have her on a track. And right. then um, Shane Creed as well on guitar, and we play with him all the time, obviously. And, and where, where are you playing your music now? I mean, the two, you're in college, I know, and you're yeah, down in Cork, in Cork are you? Yeah. And, and is there much music played in Cork? There is a bit in Balborny, all right. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Um, yeah, it's nice. nice. And they have the owner there, owner playing last week. Yeah. And um, it's a great concert venue and uh, the two hotels as well do good Lovely. sessions and there's the odd festival there as well. I know, great, beautiful yeah. history music and yeah. you, you're, you're situated now in, in Castlebury, yeah. Okay, and you're going to be a, 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 the caring profession, are you? <laughs> Trying. Yeah. Uh, how is that <laughs> going to? Hours aren't really working. The greatest, <laughs> however. Yeah. I know it is great. It's fab. Uh, West Sports is brilliant for music, and there's even since I started, there's more music now in Castlebury than there was. You know, it seems to be more bars are opening and sure. more sessions are going okay. on. But yeah, Westport is not a nice Westport, spot. beautiful, beautiful spot. Owen, I, I suppose. You know, you're pretty ubiquitous around town in the sense that I, I've known you as encouraging every musician, yeah, and yeah. that's I think that's what everyone comes into the shop. <laughs> and don't encourage every musician. No, you encourage music, a lot of musicians. Music that jumps out at me, and, yeah. and, and, and sometimes I notice that it doesn't seem to jump out at other people, yeah. and I kind of like to say it should be listened to. So it's it's a certain type of music I'd. I do my very best to encourage you. Sure. Students for okay. He's, he's been huge help for us, definitely. Fantastic. Like, oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> brilliant. And, yeah. and just a, an awful question. If you could play with anyone, living or dead, even oh, first, <laughs> who would you play? Who would you like to play with if you could get them back from the other side? Um, God, it's a tough question. question. I know it is, yeah. <laughs> put you <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> um, I've had massive 
huge respect for Chris Roney since uh, since I started. I think he was like the very first album I ever got, okay. and I had the pleasure of meeting him, meeting him when I was about eight, I'd say, but right. sure, I barely could play at that stage, I'd say. Um, but he, there's something in his music. Um, that I really, really respected from a young age. So I suppose I he's still with us. Like okay, yeah, he is. Yeah. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd Lovely. Him. Okay. Yeah. Well, what about you, <laughs> uh, the younger one? <laughs> so it's like that. Um, have had a lot of influences. Um, more so, I suppose when I when I grew up, I listened to more musicians. And I suppose being over in Tullag up as well, Martin Hayes, I oh. pretty <laughs> obsessed. Okay. Um, but yeah, like. Yeah, many and you were playing with a lot of good, uh, really, a family of musicians out in Tullow with this uh, yeah. band Out the Gap, and yeah, you spent a little time absolutely. in the in in the southern hemisphere recently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been just great, I suppose. Um, when I kind of went back to the fiddle, the banjo was in the scene there for a little while. When I went back to the fiddle, then I kind of was exposed more to Tullow, and since then I've met so many musicians and been influenced by their. Lovely. And is there any major plans? First of all, as, as your duet, any major plans to travel with this or just a few more launches? A few more launches at the moment. Um, so, Tola Tradfest in May. May right. We're launching again the Sunday evening of that, so that's the 19th. And then again for the Monster Fla and hopefully one in Cork once Pamela's finished her exams. And yeah, we'll get around the place, I suppose, over the summer. <laughs> and any any kind of plans uh, to travel abroad with it? Mm, or any offers, firm not offers? Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Open to offers, though, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Lads, listen, I appreciate you being here Thank and Owen as well on a Monday morning very early, <laughs> which is which is total totally unusual to musicians. Well, not these musicians obviously. Best of luck with it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much.